Did you catch any of that? You didn't get it? You didn't hear it? You heard, did you hear any of it at all? We just had a full blown conversation. Where were you? I was here. Oh, well, and I was here. Um, good after, it's good evening. evening. Good evening. More like nighttime. It, it's still bright outside. And welcome to the Sunday, Sunday Sprint. Sprint. I am Oliver Green. I'm Marquita Green. And together we are bringing you Regroup for Change. So you saw, hey Robin, you saw the topic uh, was voice activated. And we demonstrated, we had a conversation that you didn't hear. And a lot of times we have conversations to ourselves that we don't outwardly express and they're just thoughts in our head and with them just being thoughts in our head they don't go anywhere nowhere at all why is i have that? a lot of those i have full-blown conversations and she's serious when she says she has full-blown conversations she has the conversations and then she'll come to one of us and expect an answer to a question that she's had in her head because I'm sure I said it out loud. And that's what she says. And Did I say this already? We... Anyway, that's how... Um, that's just how things go. So today, uh, the topic came to me based upon something that we heard in church today. And it just... It stuck. Uh, like I said, far too many times... We say we want things, and we say them to ourselves. And you've heard us talk about before, uh, if you want it, you have to write it down. But I mean, we're going to go and take it a step further. If you want something, you not only have to write it down, but you have to say it. You have to physically say it out of your mouth so you hear it. And you, just, you can't say it just today. You have to say it today and tomorrow and 20 times tomorrow you just had i mean it has to become where it's just part of your everyday conversation over and over again so a couple things that i want to be in voice activated um it'll bring forth i think four things um it'll bring forth a new beginning uh, it'll bring forth opportunity. It'll bring forth a schedule, either a schedule change or it'll put you on a schedule. And activities. All right. So throughout, we'll expand on those. Um, but one of the, the the analogy that I wanted to use that stuck out, um, somebody had went to a car lot and was test driving the truck and it was a, a newer truck and the salesman got in the salesman was already in the truck the person got in the truck and he started to shout out voice commands um i'm big on gadgets so i was kind of i was really i was low-key geeked about the they did the air function what else was it it was really uh, moving the air controls. Yeah, I mean, that in itself. I don't like air, but it would make me go test drive it. And I was just geeked about it. Um, but that just goes to show that how technology is. Somebody has sat down and then they have looked at what is out there and where technology is going and you speak it. And in order for this truck to, in order for you to control the air or one of the ways for you to control the air in a truck is for you to you can say it so for me it was an example of just how powerful our words are because if we can program a vehicle to be activated to our voice what we say can change what goes on the dynamics of that vehicle that's powerful and so if we can control what happens in a car we most certainly can control what happens to the other things in our lives, in our marriages, in our careers, with our finances, with our children. We have power 
just in our tongue. And I think that's something that we miss so often. If you think about it, the major companies have, Apple has Siri, mm -hmm. and you can ask Siri anything. She may or may not have an answer. Um, Amazon has Alexa or Echo, which is the Alexa, and Google has Google Home. So these are all things that you can download the app, you can get the plug-in to operate your phone, to operate your lights, your uh, air condition, your whatever whatever is in the house that can be operated through that plug-in, uh, it's voice activated. You can ask Siri your schedule. It accesses it, it will access your schedule from your Google Calendar. So it, it's 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 limitless as to what it is that that can happen when you speak it those three companies that I mentioned they didn't there's no I can't talk to Siri from my mind I can't talk to Alexa from my mind and Google Home doesn't work from what it is that I'm thinking it's from the thought process and it's outward they made me think about um, the text message system that I found the other day. I didn't write I didn't I didn't write that down. That was gonna be one of my, my things, but go ahead. And I try so often to multitask. As dangerous as it is, I will drive and send a message, check emails and do anything else. I'm not saying it's the right thing to do, but I've been doing it. And the other day I thought there's got to be another way. So I actually went to send him a message and when I clicked on some button to try to figure out if I want to send a message or a GIF or something else. One of my options, I don't know what it is, one of my options was the, the voice button. And I thought, oh, I know what that thing is. So I clicked it and it gave me an option of talking and I wasn't sure if it was going to transcribe my words into text. But what I found is that I created a, a voice downloaded message and I was able to text it to him and I believe he had to listen to the message almost like a voicemail but one it was so safe because all I had to do was hold the button while I talk release it and hit the, the send button and two it took a whole lot less time to speak it out of my mouth than it did for me to try to type text either text or text while I'm watching the traffic in front of me or even text while I'm sitting at my desk and trying to act like I'm not texting at work. But it was so cool. But it's just another reminder of how the voice has so much power and there's so much that we can do when we speak things instead of trying to find other modes of communication. But speaking is vital to what we do in our everyday communication and how we bring things to pass in our lives. For me, I get these I didn't know what it was. I really wasn't going to listen to it, but she sent me an actual text message to say, did you get my new something? I don't know what it was. But for me, for me, her finding that message not just brought a peace of mind, a little safety, but it also, it let me know that there is a part of her that is trying to embrace technology. I mean... I, I just leave it at that. I, I, I'll leave it at that. That that was for the four things that I named that example because it was a new beginning. Um, it definitely was new opportunities. Um, it, it, it it adjusted her schedule because it allowed her mm -hmm. to. She might have gotten to where she was getting going on time in a safer manner, and. Um, it was just a different. It was a different activity. That's right. Um, it was something, and when I say different activity, I mean it was. It gave her something else to put in her tool belt. So if she knows of somebody else that texts and drives, um, she can say, "You might want to try this. I've tried it, and, and it works. And it works." So the the voice activated thing is not thing. The voice act voice activation. It enables you to have conversations with people that you may or may not have conversations with. You may just have that text conversation. 
I mean, and we all know, you've all gotten a text message, whether it's been in, in an argument or just a message, and it's difficult, if you're in a bad mood, it's difficult to read when what's being said. Would, would you agree? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I hate text message conversations. Now, she does it. Oh, but I try not to. I can tell when well, she no, doesn't because want... I call and when I don't get an answer, I have to follow up with a text message. And that's the first thing. Well, I tried to call you. Voice. And never mind. I might have to be on the couch tonight. Um, but with that said, in order to receive the bugs of, I didn't put off on. Um, in order to receive the things that you want, uh, I hope you realize now that you have to speak it into existence. You have to say it to somebody. You just you have to get it out because you have to hear it. If you don't hear it, if you only say it to yourself and you just hear it in your head, nine times out of ten, I'm going to say nine and a half point nine point five times out of ten, you will alter that thought. And that comes back. I'm sorry. That comes right back to accountability, which we've been talking about for the last couple of weeks, but. When you voice activate and you speak things out, more times than not, you're not just speaking it to yourself, but you're speaking it to somebody else. And guess what happens when you speak it to somebody else? They will hold you accountable. They will. Which is some of the reason why we don't speak those things out loud, because we don't want somebody to remind us of what we said we were going to do or what we, where we said we were going to be at X amount of time or what job we were going to apply for or what classes we were going to take we don't want people to hold us accountable so we keep it to ourselves we don't speak it we're afraid of what might happen we're afraid of what happens if i don't meet the goal that i set well guess what you change it but if you don't speak it then there's no accountability to yourself and there's no one to help keep you accountable for you doing the things that you've said that you want to do uh real quick we, we all everybody fears something at some point in time of their life and a lot of times the fears that we have we don't share because for whatever I, we can talk about all the reasons why we don't share our fears um, but in order to face your fear you have to speak it you have to say what the fear is you have to be willing to say what the fear is out of your mouth to somebody else so you can get help to face it. If you don't face the fear, you'll always be fearful or scared or whatever the case may be. So you have to be, be up to, you have to be willing to become vulnerable with facing the fear, whether how silly, how serious it is to someone else. Hey, Tracy. So you can get the necessary help from the necessary person or people so that fear is no longer a thing. That's right. But we got to speak it. We do have a special guest out here today that I want to bring over, Kiara, so she can talk about voice activation. She was in the service with us as well. And I just think we don't, have, we don't have a special guest. <laughs> She's not. You're not going to come and join us? No. Okay. She's going to pass for today, but we'll have her back soon. All right. I have, I, I wasn't going to make it, I'm not making it long. Um, but I'll go over the, the four the four things for the voice activation. And if you have any questions, feel free to shoot them in. Type Send them in a message. Because Marquita's answering all questions today. She's like feeling really, really feisty. Yep, Tracy's about to send one. Watch this. All right, uh, the four things for voice activation. New beginnings. Um, you, in order to have the goal, the dream, the, the, the goal or dream that you want, you have to be willing for, be willing to be open to new beginnings. If you are not willing to be open to new beginnings, you, no, I'm not, never. You will not, you'll be stuck. You'll be stuck in the same, the same thing. You won't, 
you, you won't progress. Uh, number two, op, new, op, voice activation will bring opportunities. Um, because it's just based upon the things that you want. You say that you want a new car, but are you willing to ride around the ride around in the car that you have till the wheels fall off, or will you be susceptible to living like the Joneses and buying a car every three years, never paying a car off? You want a new house? Are you willing to do what it takes to pay the one off that you have, or to do what it is that it takes? to stay in that apartment so you have a big enough down payment and get everything situated to get into the house that you want. So number one is new beginnings, number two is opportunities, number three is schedule. You have to be, when you get those two things, the new beginnings and the opportunities, um, it may bring you in contact with other people that can help you reach your goal. So now you have to come outside of yourself and you have to schedule time to meet with that person or the group or to do what it is that they've asked you to do so you can get further. So you have to open yourself up to to um, to be flexible uh, in your schedule. And number four, um, it will open, all that will open up new activities. It will put you in places in front of, it'll put you in different places in front of different people. Um, It'll allow you to do different things, and these are all the things, if you've ever heard me talk about it before, that you can add to your tool belt. The more things you have in your tool belt, the more things you can build. The more information that you can give to somebody else. Uh, I think that's all I have. Uh, my last, my, my question would be, well, before I ask the question, you have anything else? My question would be, who or what will you speak life into this week. What will you say to somebody? And I would just, I would say who you want to smile at to change their life. I'm going to take it a step, I'm going to take it a step further. What is it that you will say to somebody, whether you know or don't know them, that is going to speak life into them? So when you've done that, that's your assignment. When you've done that, shoot us a message back. Let us hear what it is you said and what the response was. Understand, you can't. You, you, you may tell me something and I may not be ready to receive it. It doesn't mean that you stop. It doesn't mean that you don't, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything to anybody else. It doesn't mean that. You continue to give, you continue to push, you continue to have your new beginnings, your opportunities, your scheduling, and your activities so you can continue to reach your goal. But activate that voice. Don't sit silent. The more you activate your voice, the more comfortable that you become. If you go head over to our uh, Regroup for Change YouTube page, you can see from the first one, the first couple, who was talking, who was, I don't, this is kind of like a setup who was doing more of the talking in the beginning and who is doing more of the talking now. Last week, uh, we were faced with a just a scheduling conflict. School was starting and she had to go out. And I, I could have pushed the time back, I could have waited, but I said, oh, you're not here, so let me go ahead and get it. We Schedule. adjust, and I'll be smiling at you too, Robin. She didn't say anything. Oh, we're getting off. She said she's going to smile at me. Why? Smile at her? Why? Hater. There's no such thing as haters. It's just... Look it up in a dictionary nah. and be your picture. <laughs> well, thank, thanks for jumping on. We appreciate your time. Not going to keep you... Uh, like I said, who or what... Who... Um, what or who will you speak life into this week? Hit us back, send us a message, let us know how it went. All right? All right, I'll be looking for that word, Robin. You know how to find me. All righty. Love y'all. Have a good one. Peace.
Yeah, okay, yeah.